hello friends is marilyn here welcome back i have my second project using the february limited edition kit by my crazy scrapbook that i'm going to let you the link to this gorgeous kit in the description box down below i have here the paper that i'm going to use this is the photo of my sister my nieces and me and i'm going to use this second photo with my sister these are the paper and yes i have here amy amy accompany, accompanies me but i let me move her she wants to see everything that i'm doing this is my base paper the cardstock and with this paper i'm not sure if i'm going to use horizontal or vertical the lines here but i decided at the end that i'm going to use the lines uh, the vertical lines so i'm let me trim off this strip from the paper and i select this side to put it here over the cardstock and uh, let me oh my gosh let me move amy again she she wants to see everything that i am doing okay now i am going to mark the center of the paper of the cardstock here and I'm going to make a marks at six inches and here in that way I can centralize uh, the pattern paper and I'm using this clip to attach to the because I don't want to glue anything I do this because I'm going to turn back and trace uh, here the shape of the cardstock and now with the scissor I'm going to cut this uh, part of the paper the idea that I have here is to make a page or layout and simulate a, a envelope the back of the envelope here and this part is the uh, envelope flap but I want to add a border uh, to this flat not sure check see if I should put these doily borders on the on the uh, flap or or behind the flap over or under but first i i am distressing here this v shape using this tool from dress um this tool is from close to my heart and i want to give these textures around this flap then i decided to adhere these pieces under the flap as you see here so the easy way for me is to apply the liquid adhesive direct to this uh, uh, die cut and then adhere the piece i'm using the tweezers because it helps me because these uh doily borders are very thin i think it's less than uh and a half inch um that i love this die for that reason because they are very small then i continue adhering but to make the uh oh <laughs> she's here again okay to make here i just fold one of the pieces by half and create like a v shape and now i'm going to attach this okay i've removed amy again as i told you she's very curious she wants to see everything that i am doing and then i continued adhering the rest and it is ready now i use my sewing machine I don't know if you can see, but I stitch around and it gives a lovely finish to this piece. I want to add texture, but let me show you that I already apply clear gesso to the uh, cardstock. And this is the stencil that comes in the kit this month. As you see, it has different design. Uh, I, and I want to use only this part, the small dot. So I'm using this uh, tape that I bought at scrapbook.com i'm using this for car making but i'm going to cover the rest of the stencil in, in that way i only i'm going to give only the small dots with texture i'm using a modeling paste and i'm starting here to apply the modeling paste i am trying to create a movement in my page that goes from the photo to the bottom of, of the page of the pattern paper And I continue here adding more texture. And I'm and I'm going to add a little more of the bottom part here, just a tiny more. 
but I think that around the photo I want to add texture so I'm going to remove uh, the, uh, the flap this part and I'm going to add texture in this way I am using the same product that are on the stencil <laughs> and I am spreading here to uh, if this is a way to save uh, product because it's you know you don't want to and here it is ready now I'm going to let it dry and I'm using this beautiful stamp that comes in the kit I am using this part the oval frame and I'm going to emboss I'm using the emboss with me from dress my craft and I'm going to stamp this uh, a few times over a balloon I'm carefully I am stamped twice at this moment I am not sure if I am going to use these uh, elements in color white so I was thinking okay let me add a white you know detail to the page but at the end I decided to uh, do the same but with gold pa uh, embossed powder so I am stamping again the same oval frame twice and I also stamping uh, a few of these tiny flowers from the stamp now I am using the gold embossing and I'm going now with my heat tool to uh, melt this but before I with a brush I carefully remove the excess of the dust of the power here is everything uh, dry now I'm going to cut out all these pieces of camera okay here I already add a piece of cardboard behind the photo I have this mat and I am checking here how I'm going to place everything this is uh, this is from the Fimera package one of these pieces that I like it and I put it behind the mat and I cut out this stack of book from uh, from one of the pattern paper from the collection I am adding now the 3d foam tape just to uh, pop up this piece in the borders because I am planning to put it between between the photo and the mat I already cut one of these doily and I cut it by half and I am trying to put these pieces uh, behind the stack of book because in this way I can uh, highlight the book more and create more layers this is the second photo that my sister and I so this is basically what I have on mind at this moment to put the small photo in this corner but first I adhere the photo or half of the photo to the mat because I want to put uh, as I told you the stack of book between the photo <coughs> and the white mat here I add a piece of lace from my stuff because this uh, layout is for me <laughs> and I love lace so I want to make this page very chubby chic I cut a bunch of this leaf from one of the papers I think it's the from the one side it uh, one side of this paper has this beautiful uh, green uh, mint mint green and I cut with a dye a, bo a bunch of dust I think the dye is from Tim Horse <clears throat> now I am playing with the different flowers from the kit and I am trying to play uh, I'm not uh, adhering anything I just want to put everything and first I love to see the things and once I decided that I like everything I, I'm going with the glue and adhere everything okay now I'm adding the frame that I embossed and adding uh, between the flowers and the lace in this part okay I am happy how everything looks now I'm going to adhere everything okay my friends let me let me <laughs> I make everything in one piece so it will be easier for me to work the, pa the, the page and <clears throat> the photo the small photo I want to place it here behind this uh, flower they will be my, my idea but now I am making marks with the pencil because I want to make some slit in the top part here of the envelope flap to uh, I am planning you know to 
texture and add more texture and make and show behind the pattern paper part of the ivory cardstock. So I'm using this mat with my craft knife and I'm making cuts, vertical cuts here in, I, I'm going to make like three, one small, one here and in the, on the other corner here, I will make another slit. Now I take my, my scissor, I am uh, distressing this slit um, I'm tearing a little the paper with my nails and my scissor and in that way you can see the idea here and I'm going to do the same with the other two with my nails I open a little more and I like the texture that it brings then I attach a piece of cardboard behind this piece just to add a little of dimension and I am aligning well this with the pattern paper and adhere this piece to the uh, cardstock. And I, with my nails, I open a little the slips here and trying that they look broken. Then this is the photo. I am trying to align this here. I didn't attach yet, just to put it here. And I think that it goes here perfect so it's time to adhere <clears throat> okay now I'm going to uh, to tack down the photo the small photo here between the flowers and the lace I try to give like an angle a diagonal here I don't want that it looks straight Okay, now I'm going to add all the um, both flowers that I made before. I am trying to attach this behind the flowers, between the different layers. And I love the touch that these gold flowers brings to the composition because, they, uh, you know, they are all uh, light, uh, soft colors. And then they go like a highlight between all these layers. It looks so lovely. And with the frame, it looks so, so nice. Now I'm going to add this butterfly, the big one. I'm going to put it here at the bottom of the small um, photo. And the small one in the top corner. It's time for the title. And I'm using the sticker sheets. And I, oops, I broke it. I broke the forever word, but it's okay. You, you will not notice this oops once I finish here and I want to use the together word too so I'm using the ruler to align this piece uh, better it not has to be perfect but I want that they look straight and in that way I adhere the forever and the together word at the bottom it's, uh, it's tacky so it's hard Okay, this is ready. Now I'm going to use the uh, pastel colors here, the Prima Pastel. And I, uh, I have this one. I am trying, my idea here is to add like a little of shadow around all these pieces to create depth. I don't want to add too much color. I prefer this very soft. So I am mixing, I put a little of water on my mat and then I uh, rub a little uh, the oil pastel and mix both the water with the oil pastel and apply this blend this very well on the background I started very soft with a very soft color the first layer and trying you see to create the depth uh, between the pieces but uh, not too much color as I told you then I will continue applying layers until I get the tone of color that I like. This is more like a gray green color, this uh, oil pastel, but it's okay because I am not looking at this moment for, you know, a splash of color behind all this embellishment. I'm only want the depth in this part of the page. 
and here I add a little more this time I add more uh, color than water and apply a third layer and I'm trying to bring more dark under the uh, the flower cluster and under the slab here the flap here of the envelope I am using my heat tool at this moment I am drying everything I let it dry and then I apply the fourth uh, layer carefully I am adding here and here the color okay once I am happy how it looks I take my marker this is a paint marker by Sharpie that I love it is in white color I am painting all the um, the dots the stencil work and in that way I can highlight all these dots that I want around here and I also make dots with the same markers in some area that not have uh, the stencil just add uh, like a it's not it's paint platter is I am adding dots white dots and look how it looks I love the, the effect that it brings and I'm going to do the same in this bottom part here in the title just to create that they both look cohesive in this area now from the in this month the kit comes with these small pearls and i'm going to attach a few of them here and there i'm going to show you just a fraction of the process and also i'm going to add some sequence in this part but i'm not going to show you all of this but want to mention what i did here once it's ready i noticed that something I need something for the title so I take the pattern paper again and I'm going to tear uh, a little piece I am tearing a little piece of paper to adhere at the bottom part of the page here as you see and now I add I'm going to adhere this piece in the bottom part here and I like more in this way now I'm turning back and trim the excess of paper here it is ready I cover the photo and now I am giving white paint splatters around all this area I'm going to give a few coats of paint splatters and you can see my friends now how it looks I hope that you like look I am in love with my page because it's have a lot of meaning for me because Arma is my sister and my nieces but I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you like it with a thumbs up and let me know what part of this layout is your favorite as you can see look the gold of the flowers the most flower it looks so pretty as I always I will let you down below the link to the kit to my social media that you can go and take uh, a closer uh, look to these photos and as always I'm going to let you hear two more videos that maybe you are interested and I hope you find some inspiration here and I see you soon with a new video tutorial. Nos vemos, bye bye!